Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how using the new Brother Scan and Cut font converter you can make rhinestone designs if you've got the rhinestone function activated within your Scan and Cut canvas. So I'm going to open up the font converter and I'm just going to type the word Christmas. And I'm going to choose a font that I like that's on my computer. You can choose any font you, you want to. And I'm going to say save. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it number one for now, just so I know where it is. And there it is. And close the converter down. Now I'm already in a blank project within Scan and Cut Canvas just to save some time. And then I'm going to come to the SVG icon, which allows me to import cutting files. I'm going to go and find that file I've just called number one. and say OK. And that's brought the word in up the top here. So I'm going to, well, it, I'm going to zoom in just so you can see it. But basically, as, as you know, if you've watched previous videos, these all come in as, <coughs> these all come in as individual letters. I'm going to select them all, right click and hit group. Just going to zoom back to map. And then while they're a group now, I'm going to drag them out and make them bigger. Because if you're using the rhinestone feature, you've got to set the size of your design before you apply the rhinestone function. Otherwise, if you apply a rhinestone function to this now and then resize it, the size of the stones won't be right when you come to cut it. So as you can see, I've made this quite big, but it's just for the purpose of the video. So it's about nine and a half inches wide by about three inches high. You could put this on a t-shirt or anything or on a project, whatever you want. So now while it's all selected, I'm going to come to the premium tab. As you can see, I've got the rhinestone and the sticker maker activated. I'm going to come to the middle icon, which is the rhinestone wizard. I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave it on the first option, which is just the outline. I find with using text, sometimes it's easier if you use a smaller stone. But, you know, play around with this yourself. Choose the fills or just the outline. Choose the size of the stone from the four that are within here. I'm just going to go with an SS6 and I'm leaving the space in exactly as it is. And I'm going to say OK. OK, so now that's applied the rhinestone function to my word Christmas. I'm just going to select it all again and I'm just going to fill it with colour just so you can hopefully see it better on the screen. Now I can see if I zoom in over here that I appear to have a double row of stones on this letter A. So I'm just going to click on one and it's kind of selected all that set for me. So I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard and hopefully that will delete just that second row that I don't need. Okay. And that looks fine. And then I'm just going to scroll across and see if there are any missing bits that look as though I need to, to fill in, which it doesn't look as though I need to. So I'm going to zoom back to the mat. I'm going to select everything, right click and regroup it. And then all as I would need to do here is save it, give it a project title and save it. I could save it within Canvas or just download it onto my machine and I could cut that now as a rhinestone design. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.